All right, good evening. Sunday night, so you know what time it is. Drangheta Weekly News. It's your boy, Big Rich. Queens, New York City. Let's get busy. Wipe your feet on the rug and let's throw some smoke in the air. I still got that chocolate in my system. Let's go. Now, tonight you're getting a two for one because uh, Shattered got me some articles, but they're kind of short. So he got me two. So salute to you, sir. January 17, coming out of Turin. Five people were indicted Friday in a probe into the presence of the Calabria-based Drangheta Mafia in the northwestern region, in the northwest region of Val di Eosta. The trial will seek former regional councillor Marco Sorbara, former Eosta municipal councillor Nicola Pretico, former St. Pierre councillor Monica Garcia, restaurateur Antonio Rasso, and a former employee of the local casino, Alessandro Ghiaccino. The trial starts in Aosta on March 11th. Drangheta, Italy's richest and most powerful mafia, has spread from Calabria all over Italy and the world thanks to its chokehold on the European cocaine trade. So the European cocaine trade comes up big with the Drangheta. Every article they're talking about, it's the Drangheta control 80% of the cocaine in all of Europe, which is fucking astronomical, if you think about it. Okay, so that was the first article. I guess five indicted in the Drangheta Aosta case, and they're going to be, uh, the trial will start March 11th. I'm assuming because of affiliation with the Drangheta Mafia, right? Now, the second article uh, coming out of uh, Croton, or Crotone, a bank chief and doctor arrested because of affiliation with Andrangheta. The president of a local bank in Calabria, a leading Rome-based doctor and a prominent local businessman, were arrested Wednesday in the operation against the Calabria-based Drangheta Mafia. The operation focuses on how the Drangheta Grande Aracli clan influenced the business of the council of the town of Cutro. Those arrested are Ottavio Rizzuto, president of Banca di Credito and former manager from 2007 to 2015 of the Cutros Council Technical Area. Alfonso Cecito, a cardiologist at Rome's Policlinico Gamelli Hospital and businessman Rosario Le Rosa. The trio are accused of mafia association, extortion, abuse of office, influencing, peddling, failing to report crimes by a public officer, illegal access to computer systems, all crimes aggravated by mafia methods. Catanzaro prosecutors said investigations have enabled us to state that over the years, the Drangheta clan led by Nicola Grande Aracri exercised its influence on the Council of Cutro, in fact managing extremely numerous contracts and deriving direct and conspicuous economic benefit from that. It said Rizzuto, the bank chief and former council manager, was a central figure in, in this criminal metastasis. It said police carried out several raids of the local banks and council offices. The probe enabled prosecutors to shed light on how Rizzuto favored and helped the Drangheta clan in getting hold of council contracts. It said La Rose, the businessman, was another key figure. Cecito, the cardiologist, also exerted considerable influence in the case, the investigation said. All right, so we got two up-to-date Drangheta articles. Thanks to Shattered. Salute to you, sir. Thank you for finding it. And uh, we will be back tomorrow live in the morning, two-year anniversary of the morning show, all right? So if you guys are, are if you guys get down with us with Waking Up With Ruckus, we will be live tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, all right? Salute, and as usual, tonight's video was sponsored by Justice Tech Pros. If you guys haven't checked them out yet, please do subscribe to them. Uh, the videos are great. He gives you a, an education on how you can help yourself if you ever find yourself in a jam with the legal system. Okay, always, always know what you're doing. So salute to Justice Tech Pros on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to their channel, please do so. And again, watch those videos. You may learn something. Salute to everybody. Thank you for listening. Of course, Drangheta Weekly News, the only platform on YouTube that brings you up-to-date news about the Calabrian Mafia. So salute to everybody. Thank you for listening. Please like the video. Like the video, like the video, like the video. It helps us. Thank you.